Hello again guys, and Zach from ZMSC Model Works here. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be looking at Zoom Models Challenger Saline SMS 570 slash 570X. Now, you know how I love my Mopars. I like the way they look, their style, and uh, any sort of kits I can find for it that uh, can really kind of delve into those more rare or um, specific kind of one-off models I love and uh, this one's no uh, no no different here so zoom on models is a leave a company based out of Hong Kong and they make some really interesting kits mostly JDM but there are a few exceptions um, to the uh, North American market so we've got our Dodge Challenger saline 570x really nice packaging by the way too really sturdy came in the mail all bubble wrapped it was wonderful um, so here we are we have the instructions which as usual is just a bunch of paper printed off uh, so you can see here that the kit comes with you know a different exhaust system uh, different fascia bumper side skirts all that fun jazz to um, tweak the exterior a bit it also comes with a new set of rims tires and a bunch of parts for the interior and the engine bay uh, and then you get a full uh, decal sheet to either do a 570 or a 570 X there were two different models offered by SMS um, so depending on which one you want to choose whether you want to make, recreate your own or recreate uh, you know a fantasy build that sort of thing so there's a full decal sheet there's uh, window masks and two pieces of photo etch. Uh, the really nice thing about this one is it actually comes with like a plaque so you can make a display base for it. Really nice. So uh, all the necessary parts and instructions are quite clear. Uh, there's not a lot of small parts um, that are hidden. It's all in view. Shows you what it looks like uh, installed and completed. Uh, so very, very for, you know, instructions that don't have any uh, translation so like from Mandarin to English uh, they've done a really good do job here of representing and showing you in just photos how it goes together um, so pleased with how that is and its color so that's an added bonus and then there's a bunch of reference pictures here showing all the smaller uh, detail parts of the uh, 570 570x itself and I mean you can look online you can get a bunch of um, uh, different uh, uh, walk arounds but uh, showing basically all the parts that it gives you in the kit in one specific sort of photo is really really nice uh, but as always if you're replicating something make sure you do your research so in the kit we've got our three bags got our main resin parts, our wheels in a separate bag, and our photo etch and decals. So we'll just do the easiest one here and have a look at the tires and the rims. And I believe they're all the same uh, width. Uh, so these are feels like vinyl. I'm going to assume is that is vinyl. Nice tread pattern, no seam line in the middle. A little bit of uh, flash here in the back that'll need to be cleared up a bit but that's going to be on the inside so no real worries there um, we got some good um, indicators on the tire manufacturer here these are Pirelli's F7000s or P7000s yeah Pirelli P7000s as you can probably see there so really nice job on that uh, the rims so a lot of this all this plastic is in this kind of almost like a bakelite orange resin but it's all really well held together uh, minor flash cleanup on the inside but no huge chunks it looks to be all thin stuff you can scrape out with a hobby knife um, no real cleanup work to do on the inside of the rim either 
and it looks like they've done the mating system directly to the factory kit. So, good to see that. Second bag here with all of our main parts in them. I'm just gonna kind of dump this out and go with the wind. I'll rinse off the side. Front bumper. A little bit of cleanup work, but that's as to be expected. Uh, I've heard that this fits up really well to the stock uh, kit itself. Uh, so interesting to see how that's going to turn out with all these uh, locating tabs. Uh, there's some small uh, areas of flash that you're going to have to uh, clean out as there's photo wedge that goes in there. But, um, you know, typically on some of the resin kits, you'll see a lot of uh, dirty build up so uh, resin slipping past or making a build up on uh, the mold lines um, nothing here indicating any of that it looks extremely clean um, besides the uh, the poor blocks here it looks very well cast and very well thought out as far as an engineering standpoint goes um, wonderful pieces uh, same goes for the bumper here. Um, looks a little bit thin in this area, so I'm assuming they used a thinner uh, resin to kind of hit all those detail marks. But at the same time, you run the risk of, you know, going th uh, through thin parts. So there's a lot of light sh I can see going through there. So just be cautious when you're uh, dealing with that. Um, tail light enclosure looks clean and ready except the stock kit as well minor flash here on um, on the underside of the venturi where the exhaust comes through I think those two come out as they are lights but uh, we'll figure that out when we actually start building it and again on the inside it looks quite clean and ready to accept onto the stock kit uh, I've got our spoiler here uh, this might this might cause an issue here. I can already see. Um, I would have rather had the pour block up top or on a surface where I can sand it flush and I'm not trying to match this lip here. Um, so dry fit, dry fit, dry fit and uh, just take a little bit out of time and be patient with it. Uh, but other than that, solid piece. And we've got our hood here. Again, we're having that thin plastic issue here. Um, this is, I'm guessing, trying to match, yeah, the uh, the stock hood and all of the accessories that they've added into the kit. Uh, and by doing so, you've really kind of stretched the um, the resin and the cast to its limits. I mean, you know, kudos to them for um, being able to. Uh, get that detail in there. Mine looks a bit warped. Um, to try and re rectify that, I might have to put it in some boiling water and see if it returns to shape. But if not, I'll have to contact Zoom on and see if I can get a replacement for that. So uh, I lost a few points there already. But poor blocks are on the side, should be easy to clean up uh, if you get a good hood out of the box. Uh, front lip here. Um, I think just the only pore block is over here in the corner. These look to be locating tabs to fit onto the stock kit bumper here. Yeah, um, fits fairly well. Might need a little bit of a trim to uh, made up correctly, but it, it all fits in quite well and then of course we've got the new exhaust system um, this isn't so bad having the pour blocks here is nice because it gives you a nice smooth you don't have to play the uh, the seam game on all your exhaust that's nice what I am concerned with is the uh, pour blocks joining the two um, the two cat or the mufflers, sorry, the first stage mufflers here. Um, that's going to be 
fun uh, to deal with there. And then of course we've got we've got this clear part here, and I'm assuming that's the uh, reverse lights that go underneath the tail light here. So to keep those in a smaller bag elsewhere so we don't lose that. Uh, we've got two different exhausts here. So we've got this oval type and then we've got like a square uh, shape here. So I guess depending on which version you're doing you can pick either or. Or you can build your own version, whatever floats your floats your fancy, tickles your boat. Uh, oh, the grill piece here as well. Oops. That's all nicely molded. The uh, pour block stands out from the rest, so it's fairly easy to say uh, that does not belong. We've got the top of the supercharger here. Again, mold block is uh, fairly defined, and it has an arrow to show you which way it goes. Wow! A couple other parts of the engine, so that's going to be the coils on top. Some smaller tubing. Now, I'm not sure if that's supposed to connect to something. Perhaps. Yeah. That guy was supposed to go here. But has broken off. So, noted there. Uh, looks like you can tell already that the resin has begun to shrink by that lovely curve and not the good kind. Let me put this up against the line here, you can see how far that goes out, and that's just shrinkage due to the uh, the resin shrinking over time happens. Uh, that's why it's usually good to build a kit when it's freshly released, because then you can build it, not have the shrinkage issues, take nice photos of it, and then not worry when it goes to shrink later on. Uh, got our intercooler here, it's uh, one-sided, so nothing on the back side. Um, interesting. And then we've got some smaller accessories here. So that's the gauge, extra gauge cluster on the interior. Uh, some more pulley belts for the supercharger, uh, fuel lines and injectors, air filter, and another air box here. And then the final part is our side skirts, which these yeah, these are always starting to bow quite a bit. Uh, odd that they decided to back the, these with cardboard and not the super delicate lines, hoses. And last but not least, we're going to go over the decals and photo etch as well as our masks. So it's got some 570X stickers here. Let's just zoom in. Some 570X or 570 stickers here with the uh, Dodge logo on it. Not 570X, so these might be for the uh, 570 version. And they've got some uh, photo etch stickers. So those look well in register. Very nice. And then you've got the 570 and the 570X. Uh, options there as well and then the SMS logo so on and so forth which is nice here we have the uh, second piece of photo etch which has our new brake discs pedals windshield wipers various grills for different sides of the um, the bumpers and whatnot, some trim pieces for the hood, um, different logos here, 570, 570X again, different um, etched uh, license plates, which is nice, some seat belts, and then of course our nice big photo etch plaque here so that we can put on the finished model when it's done. Some standard window stickers. Um, nice to include these right uh, rather than just cutting it out of the box they come included um, what's nice about these though is that they are already pre-cut 
uh, so it's literally just peel and stick. Um, there's not a lot of wastage there with uh, some of the Tamiya ones where you might have to cut them out. Some aftermarket ones where they have it pre-cut, but there might be some tabs attaching it elsewhere. There's nothing here. It's literally just peel it off, slap it on. I like that. And of course our decal sheet. So some very nice decals here. A little on the thick side. Um, so that's going to have to have a nice extra layer of clear put on top of that. But uh, nice to see that the uh, silver ones here are metallic. Uh, that is a nice touch. Gauge new, uh, the white gauge faces here, SMS logo for various things. Uh, different uh, warning labels, which is nice. A lot of the uh, Revell kits around this time, like the 2009 to 2012, did a really good job, especially with like the Mustang, of putting on like the, um, the seatbelt warnings and the mirror warnings above like the fold down mirrors and the sun visors, um, engine bay warning uh, stickers and that sort of stuff. I wish the kids did that more often, but I can see why they'd want not want to because it's a lot of work to get that detail in there. But there's detail for the supercharger here and then some warning labels as well as uh, 570 and uh, brakes, that sort of deal. And then some numbers here that go just on the front edge of the bumper. I think that was the identifying mark to say, like, hey, this is uh, number 69. And I, think, I don't even know if they made that many, but should you choose, it's the options there for you. Um, but all in all, uh, very nice deckel sheet. We'll see how they actually handle solvents and what have you. But uh, that is basically it, guys. That's uh, the Zoom model Dodge Challenger Saline 570 570X conversion kit. Um, a few flaws, um, like with the thin plastic around the hood, uh, some of those air hoses got bent, and um, the, the hood also being slightly warped in that corner. We'll have to see... Uh, if it can f get fixed with the, the hot water trick, but uh, depending on how long ago this kit was uh, cast, that might be an issue. Um, but everything else looks like it'll fit up directly to the stock kit, a direct drop fit. Um, I haven't heard anything bad as far as fitment issues go from Zoom model, so I'm curious to see if this lives up to that hype so keep an eye out we will be building this I do apologize because of the weather here it is hot and humid so I can't run the spray stand um, just because the paint doesn't cooperate uh, it takes forever to dry uh, or actually sorry it, it dries too quick so I get a lot of dusting so I've been holding off on spraying and getting you guys updates because I want to get a proper finish on my models. I don't want to just rush through them. So keep an eye out for this one. Uh, we will be doing a um, after glue together review and then finally a finished build. So thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.